Hey everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you to the first video in our new hybrid cloud collection. In this series, we'll be showing you many of the benefits of having a consistent experience within a data platform that runs either on-premises, in the cloud, or a mix of both. In today's example, we're going to take a workload that trains an image classification neural net and show you how you can use Cloudera machine learning to leverage NVIDIA GPUs to achieve impressive speed improvements, all without any major code changes. While the focus of this video isn't on the technical challenge of creating an accurate image classification neural net, it is important to understand the basic steps that are being performed in order to have a better understanding of how this type of workload can benefit from having access to a hybrid cloud development environment. At a high level, first we have to import the libraries we're going to use. In this case, we have TensorFlow and Keras to do our machine learning heavy lifting, along with some basic system libraries. We then bring in the data set that will be used to augment the pre-existing ResNet model and split it into the appropriate testing and training data sets. The next part is important, as we implement a mirrored strategy within TensorFlow. This allows for the use of distributed processing across multiple GPUs or CPUs, depending on what resources are available. We've also wrapped the part of the code that does the model training with timers, so that we can measure how long it takes to retrain the model. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run this code on a relatively common mid to high end development machine. In this case, a 2019 MacBook Pro. While this machine does have a dedicated GPU, it's equipped with an AMD card, which unfortunately doesn't leverage TensorFlow's native CUDA support. This means that the CPU, the 2.6 GHz 6 core Intel i7 in this case, will bear the weight of the model training. While the Intel CPU is no slouch, it still takes almost two hours to complete the model training. While two hours may be acceptable for some situations, it certainly isn't ideal, since adding a GPU to the system is not possible, even if you were able to acquire one in this age of silicon shortages, we'll have to look elsewhere. This is where having access to the Cloudera data platform can really save the day, or at least a couple of hours. Machine learning is one of the integral experiences within the Cloudera data platform, and we're going to spool up a new machine learning workspace in CDP Public Cloud so that we can see if having access to extra cloud resources can improve our training time without any major code changes. We won't go too in-depth on the setup of the machine learning workspace and project, but if you're curious to see the features, go check out some of our other videos in the machine learning collection. In the project, you'll see that we've uploaded a couple files. The important files here are the main.py file, which is the same code that we just ran locally, though we've uncommented a couple of lines. We'll get to that part later. We also have a requirements file that tells Cloudera Machine Learning what libraries you need installed. Typically, we'd go start a workbench session to develop and run our code as we would on a local development environment. But since we've already done our debugging locally and we're confident the code works, we're just going to jump right into the feature that most suits our goals, Cloudera Machine Learning's Experiments. Experiments lets us leverage built-in tools to track certain metrics from within our code, as well as assign varying resources to attach to a given run. The lines we uncommented earlier were specifically to track these metrics. In our case, we want to know how long the model is taking to train. Now let's go ahead and create three experiments. We're going to use the same base resources as far as CPU and memory for all of them to make sure we keep consistent. The first experiment is going to use no GPUs. This way we have a benchmark against our local system that also has no GPU acceleration. The next two experiments will have one and two GPUs, respectively, so we can see what speed improvements we may gain once TensorFlow is able to use the full power of NVIDIA's GPUs. Once these experiments are up and running, CML will automatically deploy the right container and run the scripts just like we did locally, but with added resources. Choosing the NVIDIA edition means that we get all the necessary NVIDIA and CUDA drivers already set up for us. With the results now coming in, we can see that even just one GPU gives us an order of magnitude increase in training speed, cutting our time from almost two hours on our local machine down to only 10 minutes. Adding a second GPU gets the time down near seven minutes. That's almost 14 times faster. As a developer, that amount of time saved is incredibly crucial, 
as it allows you to spend a lot more time fine tuning and tweaking your models instead of just waiting for them to finish training. This also allows you to work with larger and more complex data sets that may have been out of reach when you were limited to just your local resources. Thanks for watching today. If you found this interesting, don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. If you have any questions, head on over to the Cloudera community, where there are plenty of other users ready to help answer any questions you may have.